So here is Enscape now. You can see some of the elements that I've just added, uh, the one person in the model. And you can see that the Enscape interface is all rendered. So you're seeing light. Um, to the right, you see I've turned on the help menu and it tells you like the basic commands, for instance, moving, if you're flying or walking on the ground, you can rotate things, you can orbit, um, essentially everything you need to move, including you change the time of day by pressing shift, um, and holding out shift uh, in your um, right mouse button. That sort of thing is uh, one of the things you double click to go close to a model, come back out. Um, and I've customized some of the materials from the model. Um, so we see a um, variety of things just to make it a little more beautiful. Okay, so here's an Enscape interface that'll just give you a quick overview um, to get you started with this. Um, first, you can always uh, annotate in your model. Um, that's a little, and the same thing for BIM. These are where you can select a particular item in the model. There's more advanced features. Uh, you can also look at the views that you're using. We're going to close the Help tab. For instance, these are views that you've made, or you can create a view um, within Enscape that will go into Revit. Um, from your video editor is where you can add movies. For instance, you can choose a frame, and then you choose another frame, and then you can always play that back um, in the model. You, you can choose the timeline for that. And so uh, you also can export any of your your uh, elements in your video, uh, or you can export a screenshot. And this is for exporting a screenshot. You can export videos within the video tab, um, and you can also export your panoramas here. And here is where you can export your standalone, either for a X file that you can send someone to download, or you can put it on the web and anyone can go. And to the right part of your uh, interface. You can uh, be clicking on a map for where you are. You can be uh, putting the safety bars. And we'll talk about that with visual settings, essentially, as you choose your window for your, your export. Um, you also can change if your perspective is two-point or orthographic. You can um, choose which mode is for best for navigation. You can also connect with your Oculus right here. And these two items are for your visual and render window settings. And we'll go into that because that's definitely where you get to start perfecting what model elements are going on.